The Boeing Company is a worldwide aircraft manufacturer. They make and sell airplanes, helicopters, rockets, and even satellites. Boeing is one of the largest companies in the aviation industry. It is the second largest defense contractor in the world, behind Lockheed Martin. William Boeing founded the Boeing Airplane Company on May 9, 1917 in Seattle, Washington. He got the idea to build an airplane when he was flying a Glen Martin Flying Birdcage seaplane and he crashed it. He soon learned that the replacement parts wouldn't be available for another few months, so that motivated him to build his own airplane. So he went to work and, with the help of a friend, created the Boeing Model 1, also known as the B&W seaplane. In 1917, Boeing knew that the US would need aircraft for World War I. So he shipped two Model C's to Pensacola, Florida. The Navy liked the plane so much that they ordered 50 more. As we all know, after the war there was a large surplus of aircraft and not that much demand. So in an effort to avoid becoming bankrupt, Boeing began making dressers, furniture, and even a boat called a sea sled. Boeing has since made many different types of aircraft. They have a massive fleet of military aircraft, as well as a huge commercial lineup. Some of the most notable aircraft are the Model 80, Model 307 Stratoliner, the B-17 Flying Fortress, and the Boeing 747. The Model 80 is famous because it was the first aircraft that was designed specifically for transporting passengers and carrying mail. Being the first aircraft directed towards transporting passengers, the Model 80 paved the road for Boeing to becoming the airline giant that it is today. The Model 307 Stratoliner was the first airplane that featured a pressurized cabin. It was able to ascend to 20,000 feet above sea level. It was very popular during its time and even grabbed the attention of multimillionaire Howard Hughes. Hughes bought a Stratoliner and converted it into a penthouse. It was later sold to Glenn McCarthy, who then later sold it to the Florida Jet Research Facility in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. In 1964, Hurricane Cleo destroyed the plane beyond repair. So then, Kenneth London converted it into a yacht. It was then purchased in 1981 by David Drimmer, who used it as his personal houseboat. It is known as the Cosmic Muffin. It is even still afloat today in Fort Lauderdale. The 747 is the most common commercial airplane today. It is known as the Queen of the Skies. President Obama even flies on a modified version of the 747 which is dubbed as the Boeing VC-25. There has been a total of 1,540 orders of the 747 to this date. There are many variations of the 747. Boeing's headquarters are now located in Chicago, and the current CEO is James McNerney. Boeing is a public company on the New York Stock Exchange. Here are a few of Boeing's greatest commercials. Ours was the first modern airliner, revolutionary by every standard. And that became our passion, to always build something better. Airplanes that fly cleaner and farther on less fuel, that redefine comfort and connect the world like never before. After all, you can't turn dreams into airplanes unless your passion for innovation is non-stop. The Boeing 747. It opened up the world to long-range flight. It carries millions of passengers per year, along with millions of tons of cargo. And it's widely regarded as the most successful large aircraft ever built. But with fuel prices climbing higher and higher, the question became, could Boeing make the queen of the skies even better? Could the 747 become a model of modern fuel efficiency? The 747-8 is an all-new airplane that is really built off the backbone and the foundation of the, of the iconic 747. To remake the 747, Boeing took the world's best performing large airframe and updated it with the advanced technology developed for the 787 Dreamliner. 
In addition to adding powerful 787 type engines, Boeing engineers developed an ultra advanced wing designed with complex curves and raked wingtips. At one point during the design, we reached a point where we were really concerned we couldn't uh, form the, the wing skins into the shapes needed with our traditional building processes. Um, so we brought a team together that, that, that brought in a new technology to form the wing skins on the 747-8. And it's been very successful. With its advanced new wing and engines and a host of other improvements, the 747-8 offers the lowest operating costs and best fuel efficiency of any passenger plane or freighter in its class. In fact, the new 747-8 can boast a double-digit improvement in fuel efficiency from the previous model. The 747-8 represents a lot of big milestones for the Boeing company. It is the uh, biggest commercial airplane that we've ever produced. It's the world's fastest commercial airliner, and it's one of the most efficient new large airplanes out there in the marketplace. At the same time, we wanted to create a really quiet airframe that also lands in the same airports and can take off from the same airports as the 747-400. In remaking the 747 for a new era, Boeing engineers showed that sometimes innovation means finding a way to make the best even better. When you change the, the wing on, on an airplane, you, you effectively are creating a, an all new airplane. The result is a next generation aircraft that sets a new benchmark for large aircraft fuel efficiency and noise reduction. Flight. It's evolving. How? Let's start with entirely new wings. Wings that go beyond conventional thinking and span using composites to achieve unconstrained length, curves, and the highest efficiency. Wings with a simple fold that ensures they always fit everywhere they go. Next, there's an engine. Not just any engine. An engine of hyper-efficient carbon composite fan blades of all new highly advanced materials. What does that do? It delivers the world's most fuel-efficient commercial jet engine ever. Along with wing and other efficiencies, it helps propel every 777X flight with up to 12% less fuel per seat than any competing aircraft. Any. And it's much kinder to the blue skies you fly through, too. Then there's the tail, the nacelle, the raked wingtip, all exclusive technologies that add up to efficiency. What else makes it great? A cabin designed to captivate. A cabin with cathedral-like ceilings, with more space to create amazing experiences that surprise and delight. This cabin isn't just called extra wide, it is extra wide. Future airline prosperity resides in an aircraft family. Two airplanes purpose-built to optimize long-haul networks to comfortably take you where you want to go, non-stop. One airplane to go as far as its competition more efficiently while carrying tons more cargo, literally. Or with just passengers and luggage, go the distance, significantly. Then there's another plane to help airlines win in every market they fly it. An airplane in a class all by itself, both engineered to achieve class-leading reliability meaning you depart on time, every time. Who else will provide such groundbreaking aircraft innovation? No one. That's why the Boeing 777X is the evolution of flight. It's airline prosperity embodied in wings, in blades, in comfort, in space, in stars. It's the future of flight unfolding. And that concludes my presentation of the history of the Boeing Company. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it.